The joint Egyptian-German archaeological mission working in the Esna Temple succeeded in revealing a number of inscriptions, scenes, and colors in the southwestern part of the ceiling of Esna Temple, which appear for the first time after completing its restoration and cleaning work, which comes within the framework of the project to restore the temple and show its original colors. This was stated by Dr. Mustafa Waziri, Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, pointed out that the scenes and inscriptions that were revealed during the current phase of the project are of great importance, as they represent the cycles of the sun and moon gods at night and during their journey in the other world. Dr. Mustafa Waziri indicated that among the scenes that were shown a scene representing the cycle of the sun god and the battle against his enemies, and another of an old man symbolizing the sun during sunset, in addition to another inscription representing the row of deities of the lunar days, such as the idol Jeb and the goddess Nut, and other inscriptions depicting the journey of gods of the sun and the moon in the other world. For his part, said Dr. Hisham El Lethi, head of the Central Administration of the Egyptian Antiquities Registration Center and head of the mission from the Egyptian side, said that the mission also succeeded in finding a way to prevent birds from building their nests inside the temple, whose remnants led to the obliteration of the temple's landmarks, inscriptions, and colors over time as it submitted a project to the Permanent Committee of Egyptian Antiquities. It aims to prevent birds from building their nests on the roofs and pillars of the temple without compromising the impact by placing thorns of stainless steel and a base of chrome 365 resistant to high heat, moisture, and rust, and the length of the piece is 50 centimeters containing a group of bundles of thorns that are easy to form, leading to the death of birds when she approaches it. It should be noted that the Esna Temple is located about 100 meters from the west bank of the Nile in Esna. It dates back to the Roman era. It was built in the era of the Roman Emperor Claudius in the first century ad, and it was decorated with inscriptions in the era of Emperor Decius between 251 to 249 before Christ. The temple was dedicated to the worship of the god Knum in the form of a ram.